There's 104 days of quarantination, but we still have school in the middle. So the newfound problem of our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe finding a hobby and reading our Bible, creating cool experiments. Discovering newfound cool talents, or giving your budgie a shower. Spending time in prayer, creating arts and crafts, or locating ancient treasure. It's over here! Hopping around the house, doing my homework, or camping in the garden. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before things normalize. So stick with us, cause Kids Club is gonna do it all. Cause Kids Club is gonna do it all Mom, the Kids Club leaders are back at it again Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Sunday We have some exciting news We're going to start a new dance today And for the rest of the month we'll be doing this one It's called Deep Christ Out And we are so excited to uh, worship with you guys So join us and uh, I hope you have fun Jump, 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 everybody If it goes to the left, then we'll go to the left 
another episode of Kids Club. I'm so excited to be here today and so excited to share um, the next armor of God. And so today we are going to be looking at the helmet of salvation. Now salvation is such a big word and so we're going to break it down again. And I want you guys to, to quickly pause the video and ask yourselves what do, what do I think salvation means? And, um, and use your thinking caps if you want to think what you think it means. Right, and I'm going to give you five seconds. Okay, so next I'm going to tell you what it means. So the word salvation actually has a very easy meaning. It means to be saved. And if you think of someone being saved, I think of my hero. And um, I can think of a bunch of heroes like Spider-Man and Batman and Superman and all those people, those heroes, they save people that are in trouble. And so um, we are going to be looking at how Jesus saved us, okay? And how the Bible explains that he came down and he saved our lives, all right? So we're going to be looking at a specific Bible character this morning and our Bible character is going to be Paul, all right? So Paul before he was saved he did some bad things and so for example i'm going to tell you what he did so what he did was people that said openly to the public so people who declared and said to people that they must follow jesus and that i follow jesus paul took those people and he threw them in jail now who wants to go to jail for loving jesus it's it's very difficult hey and you wouldn't think that you go to jail for something like that but Paul used to do that. And the amazing thing about this specific story is that even though Paul did those things, Jesus still saved him. He still saved his heart. And, um, and Paul turned his life around and he followed Jesus. And so um, we also need saving because sometimes life gets difficult and sometimes we make some bad decisions. And what sin does, it, it actually separates us from God and it separates us from from knowing Jesus and knowing what he wants for our lives and so we need to put on the armor of God and so today we are going to be looking at a specific armor and it's one of my favorite ones we are going to be looking at the helmet okay so now if you think of a helmet what does a helmet protect hmm I wonder that's right it protects our heads and what's inside our head our brains so why do you think it's called the helmet of salvation I'm going to tell you. So Jesus wants us to be saved and he wants us to use our brains to make the right decisions. Okay. And he wants us to make our own decision to follow him and to share his word and to share his love with everyone around us and to tell people about the story of Jesus. And that's why we have to protect this because it's so important. And so God's salvation, that big word, um, protects us from being separated from God and we don't want to be separated from God we want to be we want to always be with God and um, what's even better when we are saved is our the way that we think changes and when we make decisions when we're saved we think to ourselves what would Jesus do in this situation and so today I want you to remember that if you ever have to make a decision whether it's um, to help your mommy to help a friend you must sit for five seconds and then you just think to yourself what would Jesus do in this situation and you must remember that Jesus had such a loving heart and and he loves us way more than we think and um, 
and so when you guys go this week to school or to wherever you're going this week to whoever you're speaking to i want you to remember in the mornings with all the other um, pieces of armor that we're going to put on and that we've been talking about is to remember to put on the helmet of salvation all right okay so i'm going to read our memory verse to us today and it's it's such an easy memory verse so i expect you all to send me some videos of you saying this memory verse it's so short but it's so powerful and so our memory verse today is take the helmet of salvation that's it easy hey take the helmet of salvation and it comes from ephesians 6 verse 17. so when you say this memory verse i want you to think to yourself i'm going to take the helmet of salvation i'm going to put it on my head to protect me all right from ephesians 6 verse 17. okay guys so we're going to move over to our craft now and i'm so excited it's going to be so awesome let's go Okay, so we're going to start with our um, craft today and we're making the helmet of salvation. Now, this is going to be so much fun, guys. So what you need is you need three different colors of paper. Now, remember what your helmet's going to look like and think of the three colors that you would like in it. All right. So what I've done is I've sent your parents a, a template for our some of the pieces of the um of the helmet so you must take these that i'll send to your parents and then you're going to cut them out on the lines okay please make sure that your parents are there helping you because we're going to be using some sharp things today right so i have my three colors here then what we're going to need is a pair of scissors like i said to cut out some glue or a staple stapler okay now staplers are, can be very dangerous so again please make sure that your parents are there to help you okay so the first thing we have to do is we have to make the base of our helmet now so i've taken my biggest piece of paper which in my case is purple but you can use any other color and you're going to cut a long thin strip like this okay now this is the piece that's going to go around your head so you have to make sure that it fits around your head okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it around make sure that it fits your head mm -hmm. And then you can either glue it okay or you can staple it today teacher is just going to use a stapler because it's very quick and easy but you can use glue to help you with that okay right so we have our headpiece now so i'm going to put this piece of paper away now we're going to take our template that we have and we're going to cut it out okay so after that you should have three pieces like this there we go so this piece is going to protect our forehead right so we're going to put it here in the front like so okay and what it needs to do is you still need to be able to see underneath it but your nose is protected here all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to attach it um, like this again you can use glue you can use a stapler whatever just to make sure that it sticks nicely okay So I'm going to attach it. Cool. So now we know that our nose is protected. Okay. And we have this as well, which is super cool. Now we're going to take these two pieces and these two pieces protect our ear. So they're going to go on the side of the helmet. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put them on, on both sides of the helmet. Like so. Okay. Like that, like that. And you're going to stick them on. Okay, so I'm just going to attach the one side, but you guys will obviously attach both sides, okay? Cool, so it'll be attached like this on the side, all right? It's going to be quite close to the other side, but remember, you still need space for your eyes to see. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cool headpiece. So this piece is going to add some extra flair to our helmet. So what you need is you're going to take your third color, which is my pink one. You're going to cut a thin strip like this, right? And you're going to ask your parents to do this next part or help you. And you're going to just fold the sides in like so, okay? Nicely like that. Right. And then we're going to add some hair to make it look super cool. So what you can do, I'll show you my final product. So what I've done is I've cut little pieces like that so that it looks like a cool mohawk, okay, that's going to go on our helmet. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take the one end and you're going to attach it to the front, right? And then you attach it to the back, like so. So, so you can have a cool mohawk to make your helmet look extra cool for us. Okay, so what you can do with this one, again, attach it with glue. It's a little bit easier because it's nice and thin. So let me attach mine. So you only have to put glue on the edges with this piece. So I'm going to put it in the front and the back. Right, doesn't that look awesome? So this will be the front of your helmet and this will be the side and you'll have one on the other side as well and then your cool mohawk looking hair. Okay guys, so I want to see your helmet. Send me a picture of your helmet, send me a video of you making your helmet and remember every morning when you wake up to put on your helmet of salvation. Cool guys, that's it for today. See, I'm wearing my helmet of salvation ready to fight for the kingdom of God. All right, so have a great week, everyone. Remember to send me your cross, send me a picture of you in your armor with your helmet of salvation. Send me a video of the memory verse. It's so easy and I know that you all are gonna do it exceptionally well. So today I'm actually gonna leave us with a little joke that I found that's super funny. So it says this, what do you get when you brush your teeth with dish soap? Ooh, sounds gross. Okay, what do you get? Hmm, think about it, think about it. Okay, let me tell you. So it says here, okay, so what do you get when you brush your teeth with dish soap? Bubble gums! Ha! Very funny. Okay, have a great week everyone. We'll see you guys next week.